Hi everyone, Daisy here again with another day of 30 days of sketches with Christy from Christy's Beautiful Life. I am doing day 19 and um, kind of doing a take on this. So when I had this sketch saved, it was actually turned on its side. So my star ends up in a different place because in the sketch I had, it was on the other side because um, it was flipped 90 degrees. Um, so not that that matters at all, but anyhow, I'm starting out with this background paper. This is from 2014 from a simple stories collection. Um, and it's just such a beautiful wood grain. Like I've been saving it and saving it and I'm like, no, I got to use it. And I'm using this photo. This is one that I took of my son when we went to do, um, his senior pictures. Um, and this is my absolute favorite one from the day. Pretty sure. So I decided to scrap this one. Now in the sketch it has kind of, um, it looks like there's four triangles put together to make a 12 by 12 background and I am going to just stitch with using some white thread, um, just a big X on the paper to kind of represent that. I was going to bring in a different paper but I just wasn't loving any of my options and I didn't want to lose any of that wood grain. so. I thought that this was appropriate enough to kind of represent that. And I always backstitch when I'm, well not always, but most of the time I try to backstitch when I'm doing um, any machine stitching on my layouts that will keep the stitches from pulling out, um, which I find on paper is a big deal. Um, so that's just where you reverse and then go forward again kind of locks your stitch in place. So now I pulled out the Unforgettable yeah, collection from Coco Vanilla. And that one paper, um, oh, I can't remember what collection that's from, but that's from one of the other older collections, like from a couple years ago from Coco Vanilla. Um, and I had a six by six paper of it and I thought it would be a good addition. So you saw me cut out that first star. That was out of some birch wood veneer paper from Cardstock Warehouse because I thought it'd be cool to stack up wood veneer papers. But then I realized my stars aren't big enough. So, so then I try this out and I'm like, ooh, that looks really cool. So then I'm like, well, what if I do another one? So I'm gonna add a third star and just another layer of paper behind my photo because why not and so I just went to get the six by eight papers and I pulled out the cut apart sheet because I thought I could use one of those um, as one of the embellishments and then I really liked um, the sentiments on this uh, like I don't know, typewriter paper. I don't know. I don't know what you call it. <laughs> and I can't off the top of my head think about what it says, but it's, you know, talking about things like being unforgettable and you're the best and that sort of thing. I thought maybe I could find one of the pieces in my trash, but I can't. And then I cut out that um, piece with the camera. Let me grab the layout. So that piece with the camera says, take photos, make memories, repeat. Um, and that star says things like smile, happy, um, enjoy stories, happiness, memories, love, forever, today, that sort of thing. So then I decide to pop each of the stars up with some fun foam and put layers of thread in between the three stars. So this is going to end up being a little bit chunkier of a lay layout, but I'm okay with that. I've been doing a lot of flat ones lately, so um, it will nicely offset the flat ones. Um, but I'm just using some white thread and this was actually off of a bobbin that was almost empty and it kept jamming up, so I figured I would just use it as my scrapbooking thread. Um, so like I said, I just layered it between each of the star layers and then I'm going to add a couple of more little bits here in a few minutes. 
So because I popped the stars up, I had to pop the photos up. Or the photo up. Um, and then I did cut apart a couple of those little labels because I thought I could use them. And here's where I kind of go off of the sketch. Like I, I no longer was really paying attention to the sketch. So, And I just realized I never added my title. But I kind of don't know where I would add it at this point. So I think that that little card is just going to be my title. Take photos, make memories, repeat. Works. So I had a couple of these butterflies left. Um, and I can't remember. I think that might be Midnight... Or it might be unforgettable. I can't remember. Um, or is it happiness? Hmm. I have no idea. But one of the two of their beautiful butterflies, um, in the like deep teal and like navy kind of colors. And then that is my cocoa vanilla kind of stash there. So I'm just pulling out some pieces. I'm pulling out. Um, that piece I just put down at the bottom says one of a kind. I'm going to pull out a couple of sticker hearts um, off of the midnight sheet there. Um, and then a little banner that says love you. And um, that word phrase st sticker says oh my heart. And the one at the top says be yourself. And then off of the happiness I'm going to pull one that says smile. And then I'm going to think about it some more and figure out if there's something else I can add. But I really am happy with the way the layout is now. So I'm going to switch around my clusters um, because I felt like the one at the top was weighing it down too much. Like it was too heavy. So I wanted to switch them around. I don't know. And then I'm going to add some sequins. So I pull out one of the new mixes from October which is my absolute favorite um, definitely top 10 Spiegel Mom Scrap sequin mixes of all times and it's called Graham's Afghan oh my gosh like I need 15 bags of this and I'm gonna hoard them and never use them because they're too pretty because that's what I tend to do like my most favorite ones either I use them all up right away or I hoard them and I end up with like multiple bags and just keep them like they're gonna you know get better with age so anyway um, I am using them on this layout and I'm using some of the giant like blush pink ones and putting them around and then I'm putting some white ones around the star and I'm going to add some like purple ones. There's two different kinds of purple. It's kind of like a periwinkle purple almost. And then a more mauve purple. And so I'm going to add those to that. And then I felt like um, there's just a little something missing from that side of the photo. That right side. And so I'm going to add some more white sequins just to kind of balance it out. And then that's going to be the end of the layout. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I will try to have links down below for everybody's video if I get time at work to link them. If not, as soon as I get up tomorrow, I will definitely do that. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time. Bye.